Congratulations, Nebraska. You get the bronze medal for fiscal responsibility and sustainability at the state level. You are rated number three wow. on, on uh, taxpayer burdens, uh, taxpayer burdens with regard to liabilities and unfunded promises. In fact, you're above the water. You're not in the red. You're in the black. There's only three states in the black, Wyoming, North Dakota, and Nebraska. Uh, four, and Utah. Unfortunately, <laughs> my state, Connecticut, is last place. Number 50, with $41,200 in unfunded promises per taxpayer. But comparing to the federal government, uh, at $538,000 per household or per taxpayer, it's not that big. So you have to add federal, state, and local to get a sense where we are. These are the common challenges facing all levels of government. You can read as well as I am. I'm not going to read this. In most cases, government has grown too big, promised too much, and waited too long to restructure. Government has a legitimate role, but it needs to focus on, on true societal needs rather than unlimited individual wants. And it needs to do it in an affordable and sustainable fashion. And we're going to have to restructure government at the federal, state, and local level in installments, phased in as appropriate over time, and we need to get started now. Because the clock is ticking and time is not working in our favor. Uh, last thing. When you're making reforms, they need to meet a six-pronged test in order to become reality. And this is at the federal, state, or local level, but I'm focusing here today on the federal level. They need to make economic sense. They need to be pro-growth oriented. Uh, and by the way, when you spend more money than you make and charge it to the credit card, that might help you in the short term, but it's anti-growth long term. Understand, deficits and debt represent deferred taxes, absent or restructuring. It's not a matter if you're going to pay, it's when you're going to pay absent or restructuring. Is it socially equitable? Our policies need to be equitable. We need a sound, safe, and secure social safety net. We need to legitimately take care of those who can't take care of themselves. But we shouldn't be getting involved in middle and upper class welfare programs. We're giving people what they want rather than what, we, what they need and what we can afford to sustain. Is it culturally acceptable? Americans aren't going to allow themselves to be taxed the same level as Europe. Uh, that's not going to happen in this country. Uh, does it pass a math test? If you're trying to balance the budget, stabilize debt to GDP, do the numbers work? By the way, that's the new four-letter word in Washington, math. <laughs> <laughs> the U.S. is not top 25 in the world in math. Washington is not top 100. <laughs> Are they politically feasible? This is very, very important. What I mean by that? To get something done, it has to get a majority vote in the House, it's got to get 60 votes in the Senate, and it's got to get a signature of the President of the United States. If you can't get all three of those, you have, and here's that southern word, Shinola, nothing. All too frequently you have ideologues on the right and ideologues on the left that they have a plan. They may not meet the first four tests. They definitely don't meet the fifth test. That means you get stalemate. You get gridlocked. We are headed for a cliff at breakneck speed. We must promote progress over partisanship. We must bridge the ideological divide. Our problem is primarily a spending problem, but not exclusively a spending problem. And both political parties have put us where we are today. And both political parties are going to have to come together to help create a better future. And last, if you have a proposal that doesn't get significant bipartisan support, it will not be sustainable. In my view, the Affordable Care Act will be ruled as being unconstitutional. But whether it is or it isn't, it's unsustainable. We cannot afford it. It will, it will be changed. And we need to move to some level of universal health care that's appropriate, affordable, and sustainable, but we have way over-promised in health care. In summary, the next, next several slides are about solutions I'd rather go into the Q&A section. They talk about Social Security. They talk about Medicare, Medicaid, and health care. They talk about defense. They talk about tax policy. They talk about budget controls to be able to, to get control of our situation, uh, to be able to make sure that we've got a plan that can be implemented that meets these six tests. 
that will help to make sure that we avoid a debt crisis in the United States and that our future is better than our past.